So, what are we playing today? Hmm. Done this, done that. Hmm. Ha! I've got it! Greetings, MacWarriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is TTV speaking. Welcome back to German Machineering, and today we are going to play a Lerm Daka Atlas Founders Edition. Call me insane? Maybe a little bit. So, let's have a look at this beauty, the Atlas 7D Founders Edition. Beautiful paint job, and I, I'm not kidding, guys. When I say Lerm Daka Atlas, we're gonna go Lerm and Daka. So, let's have a look at the build, and the guys on stream have already witnessed this uh, atrocity. But, hey, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Start engine 300. Tag laser in the right arm, double LRM20 plus Artemis. On stream I used Rec 2s, but I thought to myself, well, Rec 2s are nice and all, but I want to have more damage. And what's more damage than two Rec 2s? Well, two Rec 5s, of course. So running two Rec 5s with four tons of ammo in total, four tons of ammo for the LRM20, and Endo Steel plus double heat sinks. Standard engine 300, as I said. 48.6 kph and a fryer power of quote unquote 150. LRM20s plus the racks continuously shooting. Of course, that won't be the case, but we have enough firepower to really scare some enemies and also to puzzle them. Because, like, who does that? Who does that? Well, TTV does it, of course. Okay, let's have a look at the skill tree. And in the skill tree, we have today. Missile Rack 1 and 2, High Explosive 1 and 2, Missile Spread 1 and 2, Enhanced Rack UAC 1 and 2, and Enhanced Magazine Capacity 1 and 2, as well as a few of the Heat Gen nodes in the Firepower Tree. Then we go into the Survival Tree, we have the full Survival Tree except AMS Overlord 1 and 2, Nothing Mobility or Jump Jets, full operations to keep this thing as cool as possible, nothing in sensors because we're the Atlas and people will be shooting at us anyway, so... It won't change much, I'd rather have the better heat management. And then last but not least, one point! The one point in Auxiliary to get the additional Artie Strike or Cool Shot. Well, that is the build for today, ladies and gentlemen. It is slightly insane, but uh, you know what? Let's take this thing to a dropship and let's check it out. I'll see you there. Well guys, here we are on the frozen wastelands of Frozen City. The enemy team has already killed one of our mates, but that shall not be unanswered. That shall not be forgotten, and that is a piranha coming in, and he shall be shelled with uh, lots of other M20s, if I can get a lock on him, and unfortunately, he is hiding behind the buildings, but maybe now. Maybe now it is time to shell him with angry LRM-20s and rack 5s that mostly don't hit, but that doesn't matter. We are just going for fear factor here, for intimidation, and maybe even a kill if he keeps sticking around, which apparently he wants to. That's all right. We're just gonna go ahead and learn a little bit more and then follow up with our teammates towards the right-hand flag. Now, guys, the way you play this mech, Number one, you want to make sure you use your tag to lock down targets to be able to shoot them properly with the LRM-20 and then we go ahead and use the Rack 5s to add an extra amount of suppression. Now, I say extra amount of suppression, but as you guys know, the Rack 5s, especially the double Rack 5s, are nothing to laugh at. It is actually very, very powerful to shoot at enemies. And if you add the LRM-20s -20s on top, that's another 40 damage per salvo that you drop onto the enemy. So, this build may look like a fun joke. This build may look like it's fun and it's not meant to do damage, but don't underestimate it. It actually has a lot of firepower and actually what I am underestimating right now is somebody keeps shooting my back. Um, it doesn't matter though. I think it's a light mech over here somewhere. Oh yeah, here, right hand corner, I see him. It's an arctic cheetah with a little bit of PPC fire coming in, but dude, you're shooting a founder's atlas. Your PPCs, they're like flea bites. I don't care. I keep marching Target forward acquired. towards the enemy. Let's get a building between me and the guy, and let's go ahead and start learning the enemy targets once Target again. Acquired. Ah, beautiful target here up front, the Annihilator. We've gone to CT with our Rakadaka, and we keep on shooting with our LRM 20s. But as you can see, this mech can actually run quite hot quite quickly. So you gotta have a good amount of trigger discipline and have a, a quick finger on that good old heat management cool shot. 
Now the enemy ally just keeps on moving forward, we keep on shooting him with the Realm 20s, and Need again, it is just going to be a matter of time before we go ahead and murder him. Same thing here with the Orion, we're just softening him up, and the good thing is, we can soften targets up at over 950 meters with homing missiles, and then as we get closer, that's the time where we bring out the Rack 5s and really bring down the pain with insane DPS. Oop, look at that Annihilator, for example, we drop another Salvo onto him, and teammate takes him down. Beautiful. Four kills over to right now. Let's go in and chase down the enemy Hatamoto Chi. Uh, AC5s and medium lasers. Interesting build, but uh, he is going to contend with our missiles here. Yeah, I can't really see him behind all that smoke that an enemy dead mech carcass is running out. But uh, oh, we got a Hellbringer here. There's the Hatamoto Chi that we can go ahead and learn. And then we switch on over to the enemy Corsair, go straight for City, and help our teammates take this guy down. And then maybe switch on over to the Kodiak or his buddy, the Catapult. Hold up his CT and then. And, hmm, what do, what do we go for here? Let's go Kodiak, he's behind cover, but it doesn't matter because we got Lerms, yes, we got Lerm and Daka, and we go once more onto the enemy Kodiak, onto CT, because he's shut down. And we get the kill, and we play some heavy metal music and drink the beer of victory. Target destroyed. New target also, got a dead Hellbringer here, and a Vapor Eagle coming in. One of the last of his species, that TTB takes him down through the CT and is very happy right now. The last guy alive still is the Arctic Cheetah and of course he is going to run. Now, guys, again, are we dealing here with a 100% serious build? No. But is it a joke build, I ask you guys? Is it really a joke build if it actually does some damage and kills stuff? I don't think so. I actually think that the combination of Lerms and Daka is something that we should maybe look more into. For now, we're looking for the enemy Arctic Cheetah, trying to get a lock here, trying to see if I can shoot him. Um, he's only got a single ERPPC, yeah. That's why I was uh, saying those are like flea bites. Like they, they basically annoy me, and that's it. A single ERPPC is not going to do anything. So uh, my teammates are going to go ahead and chase him down. I'm just giving him. The gift of a little bit of Daka to think about his misdeeds. And yeah, I think that Arctic Wolf is gonna make short work of that Arctic Cheetah, and that is going to be the end of the game from a 0 1 into an, a 12 kills 2 4. Beautiful. There we go. The last guy dies, and we can go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard to see how we did. We still had some Lerms left, we still had some Rack 5 ammo left, so overall, I would say we would have had about another 300, 400, 500 damage in us. Two killing blows, nine assists, one solo kill, two KMDDs, 778 damage done, and six components taken out, which is actually top damage in the match. Hey, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Apparently this thing works. Okay, and guys, of course, if you enjoy this content, check out my Patreon page and think about becoming a member of Team TTB. And we are going to jump into the next match here, and we're going to be on the Grim Plexus. And uh, same story as before, we're going to use our Lerm 20s to engage long range and uh, <laughs> shoot our buddy in the back here, but luckily those missiles weren't armed at that point, so they don't do any damage. Let's see what we can find here. We can see that some of our teammates are already pushing towards the right hand flank. Uh, we also see that some guys are still on top of the mountain, and you should never be slower than the Atlas. That might be a problem. Uh, and the enemy team is pushing very aggressively towards the Echo 7 and Fox 7 area. So, the thing is, guys, if I stay around here, I'm dead. Um, moving through this area will not be very safe. It might actually be deadly to me, but um, staying around is for sure a death sentence. So. We're moving towards the rest of our team on the right hand flank and anybody in Fox 6 right now will be left behind, there's just nothing you can do at this point to save them, they just overstayed their welcome. So, our teammates are pushing in towards the Gulf 8 area, I can see that the enemy is assault is already in Fox 7 over there, so I'm guessing all the enemies will be in Fox 7 further down below, Fox 8 maybe a few guys left, like a little remnant here, just still shooting at the Vapor Eagle, I uh, see some more enemy assaults up top, so we're gonna go ahead around the corner, keep our targeting laser ready to uh, lock onto something and then acquired. start luring slash shelling targets. For example, that Cyclops slide near down below, get a little bit of damage into him, get a little bit more missiles into him. It's actually quite nice to be able to still hit these guys while they move behind some kind of cover, but you still have got the lurm lock on them and you can still give them another 40 damage molly. That's actually not that bad. Okay. 
So what else can we see here? The Vapor Eagle. <laughs> he just comes for seconds or thirds, but that's okay with me. Uh, we'll just keep shelling him with our LRM missiles. Uh, unfortunately, this time I didn't get a lock on, so yeah, those went uh, a little bit able. We're on a Scorch Quad ATM-12 build. Very dangerous. Very scary. Um, hopefully we don't get massaged by him. I also see a king crab towards the left hand side here and another assault. It's a stalker. Alright. So uh, maybe we'll go on to the stalker or the Eben Jack. Whichever target I can lock, we will shoot. And not do any damage. The uh, angle on the missiles wasn't good enough, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and start massaging the stalker. He's got lerms and small lasers. Always bring those two small lasers because those backup weapons are going to save you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and let the stalker have it. Do some good damage to him. And uh, now we keep on with the lerms and maybe switch targets over here onto the Black Lanner. Show him a good time with our rotary AC5s and a little bit of massaging there. Ooh, getting pushed in from all sides here. Maybe go ahead, shoot the grasshopper here. Um, yeah, guys, I think we're in last stand territory now, so let's go ahead, get the king crab, and get myself some tasty crab dinner. There we go, we took down the king crab, and now it is time to go onto the cyclops. Every little bit of firepower that we still have until we overheat and we die horribly. But. We took a king crab with us. 100 ton to 100 ton trade. That is okay in my book. Oh, well, we've got uh, two more guys left alive right now. One was the Arctic Wolf who just died, and the other one is a summoner towards the sidelines, and uh, he's gonna fight against the spider. So uh, hopefully he's gonna go ahead and uh, take down that spider, and then potentially maybe take another one or two enemies with him. But uh, we'll see. But. You know what, guys? Still wasn't a bad match. I mean, we lost colossally, yes, but uh, actually not colossally. It's actually closer than you might think it is, but um, still, I think we did an okay job and we were able to get some good damage out and we traded even in terms of tonnage. Well, uh, okay, a teammate taking the time to write noob team instead of keeping on the fight. <sighs> and then leaves the game before the fight's over. While he's still alive. That's not, not, not sure how I feel about this uh, coming from a good player. Oh, whatever. Maybe the salt rivers were through the roof. One killing blow, four assists, one kill most damage dealt, 545 damage done, and two components taken out in the Lerm Daka Atlas. Go ahead, give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching. TTV out.